The spectrum of disease, interestingly, has changed dramatically because in the early years, when we didn't have any treatment, people died of diseases that were directly related to HIV infection, and they died reasonably quickly because the survival was measured literally in six to eight months. So they died of opportunistic infections, pneumonias, central nervous system diseases, a variety of other diseases, tumors like Kaposi's sarcoma. Now that we have so many people on treatment which has suppressed their HIV replication, we're starting to see late manifestations of secondary complications. For example, there are more neoplasms, cancers that are being seen in individuals. There's a higher degree of heart disease, a combination associated both with the inflammation associated with virus replication, as well as some of the drugs that are used can lead to cardiovascular complications. We're seeing liver disease, particularly hepatitis C and hepatitis B. Early on, people died before the hepatitis got to them. Now, since such a significant proportion of people are co-infected with hepatitis C, now that their HIV is under control, we're seeing the late complications associated with hepatitis C. So we're seeing a changing complexion of the kinds of problems that practicing physicians will have to deal with when they deal with an HIV-infected individual. The good news is that their HIV infection is under control if properly treated. The sobering news is that there are a whole host of other diseases that they're more susceptible to.